Good morning, everyone. And thank you for attending our webinar this morning on eBusiness, de-risking the move to cloud. Um, we're just gonna wait just a few more moments before uh, we begin to allow other uh, attendees to uh, uh, log on. So uh, please be patient with us. Thank you very much. And we'll be beginning in uh, just a few moments. Again, thank you for joining. We're just going to allow the uh, registrants and attendees to log on, and we'll begin uh, very shortly. Welcome everyone. Uh, we'll begin our uh, webinar this morning. Uh, thank you for attending. This webinar is the eBusiness uh, De-Risk the Move to Cloud. Uh, this is a presentation that will be given my, by myself, Rick Anthony, uh, Vice President of the West Coast for eBusiness, and also uh, uh, providing the uh, webinar details will be Snahal, and he will be uh, uh, delivering the majority of this presentation, and he is our, our VP here as well in charge of uh, customer success. So this, in, in putting together this presentation, we, we had to look at, you know, the climate out there, but also the install base around a business. And we understand that there is a, a level of individuals and companies out there that have a uh, have already made the change, but there's a number that are still considering the change. And a lot of the consideration is around benefit realization and how do we do it? How do we de-risk this project? So through our many implementations of bringing customers on-premise customers like eBusiness to cloud, uh, we've developed a methodology, we've developed some key tooling, and we'll be discussing those on how they're able to de-risk projects, but also allow you more importantly to get the benefit realization from your project. So our content today we'll be discussing is a little bit about us to understand why we're giving this presentation. And then Snahal will jump into our Glide program uh, for eBusiness and the things that we've learned along the way as well. So let's go to the next slide, please. So about eBusiness. So here's a snapshot. I don't wanna to spend too much time on this as um, I think everybody's here for the content, but again, this is just allowing you to understand why we're speaking about this. So Evasys, uh, we have globally well over 1,000 Oracle Cloud customers. In the last 12 months alone, we've taken 60 customers to Oracle Cloud and, uh, and had 50 go lives during that period. And here in North America, where there is a high focus, um, we are growing significantly. Uh, year on end, we are averaging about 300% growth. Uh, we are global, so we're able to uh, work with other countries and with our presence in other countries. Uh, we are well uh, engaged in 30 now. Um, as far as our consultants, we're, we have over 1,200 consultants and they're permanent consultants. They're not uh, contractors. These are people that are on our uh, permanent staff. And that is real key in understanding the continuity when working with us. Um, we work in all the seven pillars within Oracle. So that is the supply chain, that's ERP, EPM, uh, HCM, uh, PaaS, 
So there, within all areas of Oracle, we have the expertise, and that's all we do is Oracle, um, and and that's our dedication and our focus. Uh, with on-premise customers, we've had well over 80 on-premise customers we've taken to cloud, and that would include uh, Hyperion, that would include uh, EBS, uh, PeopleSoft, and SAP. We've developed these programs to also work with SAP. So in these areas below here, uh, we're, we're going to be looking at uh, how we've delivered customer success through benefit realization, and how we've actually been able to provide KPIs to our customers so they can measure those success. And, and how we're also able to de-risk a number of these projects with a lot of our, our, our methodology, but our value-based delivery. So if we can go to the next slide, please. So with the Gartner report, um, they've ranked Evosys as a, one of the number one niche players for Oracle on-premise to cloud transformations. Um, and number one in customer satisfaction. And this is real key and important to understand how, how we are successful and why we are successful, is we, we work very closely with our customers and in understanding what good looks like to them and understanding that that is our, gonna be our deliverable at the end of this project. So we're ranked number one in customer satisfaction. Um, and when, when companies engage with us, um, we oftentimes, when they ask for references, we give them a list of who actually they want to speak to. It gives them the options of understanding. We also have your industry expertise, but we also have the uh, ability to understand the uh, the product as well. Uh, next slide, please. So, talking about our awards uh, in this year uh, at uh, Oracle, actually that would have been last year at Oracle Open World. We won three awards, one for Global Partner of the Year for HCM and individual uh, recognition and awards for ERP as well. Uh, year before last, we also won ERP Global Partner of the Year. And there's a, a small glimpse of the awards we've won over the last few years, uh, which again, just gives you an understanding of, of where our, our experience is and our credibility in giving the presentation today. Next slide, please. So uh, we'll be sending out this uh, deck to those attendees as, as part of uh, uh, Next Step. And in that, you'll be able to uh, click on these videos and, and see video uh, of our customers where we've taken them from ERP e-business to cloud. And, uh, on the right there is just a quick snapshot of customers we've uh, taken uh, to cloud that were EBS as well. Next slide. And now I will turn this over to Snahel. So Snahel, thank you. And uh, please, if you have any questions during the, uh, the session, uh, please uh, write them in and then we'll answer those at the end. Thank you very much. Thanks, Rick. Uh, good morning, everyone. So <clears throat> let's jump right away uh, on EOSIS Glide program for eBusiness Suite. Uh, uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this slide. Uh, you know, we we all know you know why we have to uh, move or transform from on-premise to cloud application. Uh, just wanted to quickly set the stage. The pace of change is increasing. You know, the expectation from business from employees, from customers are getting higher and higher in terms of the compliance, security, getting right talent on time. Uh, the competition is getting tough. The expectation of innovation is, is getting very higher. So the expectation is huge and the on-premise application like eBusiness Suite is not able to deliver the expectation at right time. You know, there are a number of constraints in terms of old IT infrastructures, you know, there is a huge data uh, in EBS, but probably we are not able to get the right output in terms of analytics um, at right time. So there is a there is a definite need of uh, planning a cloud transformation. Uh, I, I'm sure you know, all of you agree to that. So let me let me introduce Evosis uh, Glide program. Uh, 
uh, EVOSIS Glide program is applicable for e-business suite, PeopleSoft, and SAP customers, as uh, Rick has mentioned. Uh, today, we are going to focus on EBS specifically. EVOSIS Glide uh, is a combination of number of approaches and the tools which uh, EVOSIS have developed. Uh, the easy example could be the data migration tool. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, it in detail the tool which helps customer to extract information from EBS, uh, do a transformation, and then also migrate the data in uh, Oracle Cloud application. You know, we'll, 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 we'll go in further details, but there are number of such tools which EVOSIS ha has created, and, and that's how we, we define uh, the EVOSIS Glide program. It obviously uh, improves the quality as as part of your transformation journey and it also saves your efforts in terms of uh, obviously the duration in terms of the price and in terms of of your organization effort also it helps you to save a lot of efforts not just on uh, technical side of the transformation but also on the functional or the business side of the transformation because evosis glide program and evosis has rich experience both in e-business suite and also on Oracle Cloud application. The innovation, be it analytics, be it digital assistance, or IoT, or the robotic process automation is part of EVOSIS Glide program. We do not create a separate phase to implement innovations. It is essential and core part of our, our Glide program, and I'm going to talk about it as well. The EVOSIS Glide program is suitable for different situation of customers. Uh, you know, whether you have done a lot of custom extensions or you have clear goal or objective, it is it is it is available and 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 very much suitable for all kind of customers. Like Rick has mentioned, you know, we have used the Glide program over eighty plus customers globally, and you know they have got a lot of benefits uh, out of. So that's uh, that's in very brief. Let's do a deep dive. The EVOSIS Glide program, and you know, we call it de risk or move to cloud transformation, has five different stages. You may not want to use all the stage, but let me give you a brief, and then we will go in detail of each and every stage, and I'll explain you how do we deliver, um, and you know what kind of benefits you can expect. Uh, let me start with you know describing you know some of situation and i'm sure you will be able to correlate my examples so if you are a e business with customer and if you believe that your ebs implementation is pretty complex in terms of a lot of customization you have done you have implemented a lot of extensions and you are concerned you know how the transformation is going to happen you know whether i am going to lose my customization if I lose my customization, do I have enough features to cover that when I go to Oracle Cloud application? If that's your situation, then the assessment is a right way to start. The assessment is free of cost, uh, a, a very easy and quick exercise which EVOSIS does. Uh, we have a toolkit which we have created, which we send to our customer. Uh, and you have to execute the toolkit in your test environment. Uh, it gives us critical information about your e-business with uh, uh, implementation. And then, you know, we give you a quick report. It does not take more than two, three days of time to, from starting to end, but it's a good start, good starting step. And I'm going to go in further details on the assessment. The second situation could be, you are very clear. What do you expect out of Oracle Cloud application. You have a clear vision to adopt the best practices which Oracle Cloud offers. Then for you, it is advisable to start with the fourth stage directly, which is start with the implementation, you know, put up a detailed project plan, use EVOSIS implementation approach, which we have used over 1000 plus and, and get your transformation done. But while you do that, if you believe that you want to improve some of your critical aspect, for an example, chart of account, or you want to improve your HR organization structure, so and so forth, 
then you know we have a advisory services for enhancement also where we spend enough time before customer kick off the the cloud transformation and we try and help you to improve your structure or 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 business processes so in that situation you may want to combine the advisory services alongside evosis implementation methodology the third situation could be you know that you know you have to go from on premise to cloud you don't know when and you have to prove to your top management or your cfo ceo and you want to have a clear business case on your roi you are spending let's say 5 million us dollar on evosis and oracle and what is that you are going to go when you go on cloud application so if you are looking for creation of a business case then evosis insight is the right way to start and we are going to do a deep dive um, i'll explain you know what is evosis insight and how it is different and how it helps you to create your clear cut business case so the point is evosis glide program is suitable and applicable for different situation of e business with customer and we do not always start from assessment we try and understand your peculiar situation and try and recommend how you should leverage the evosis glide program so with that let's go in detail one by one and talk about it the first stage is assessment as i have mentioned it's a toolkit uh, which evosis has created uh, in a number of scripts and 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 some other aspect uh, it's a free of cost program from evosis uh, this can be done remotely so so very limited effort but i would say a fantastic first step uh you know we send our tool to to the customer you can execute it in your production or test instance we don't extract any data it is more of a statistical uh, uh extraction so the assessment report would look like it will it will give you a current landscape uh snapshot in terms of what modules you are using in in what detail you are using you know what is your e business suite version what is your database version so and so forth if you are a global customer it will also get you all the information like what language you are using so and so forth it gets you user and application statistics it will also get the transaction analysis in terms of what kind of transactions you are using what is the volume so and so forth very importantly it will get all the custom extension details you know the reports interface your extensions the workflows so and so forth and not just the count it will also give us little more insight you know what kind of custom forms you have created what kind of personalization you have done so we will really get a get a nice understanding about your e business suite implementation without asking you a single question so that's the that's the that's the beauty of uh, the assessment tool it will also get us the details about the key masters and transactional data volume like i have mentioned it's free of cost we deliver a report once the once once the once the output is shared with evosis and the report would have a lot of interesting analysis around your e business with application so let me show you some more examples and before we do that so how I, I and one of the areas again we we want to focus on is how we de-risk and oftentimes understanding what your go to is going to look like but also understanding what your current state is the camleys that you've uh, uh, that you've implemented into your instance um those are all going to be key factors in understanding your risk and measuring your risk as you move forward so uh, an assessment tool like this is the beginning and understanding of how you're going to move forward, how we start to de-risk that project and moving forward. So it, it's really key in understanding that, but it also, as uh, uh, Snehala said a, a number of times today, is that it, it is free of cost, um, and and it's an exercise that that should be the beginning stages of your of your consideration to move to cloud. Thank you. Thanks, Rick. All right, so uh, let's carry on. You know, this is these are. Uh, you know these are number of examples so you will get a report and and we'll also have information like this for an example 
in eBusiness Suite Financials GL, you know, you are using 24 features of, of eBusiness Suite. Just, an, just as an example, it will list down the feature. We are going to do a mapping, whether you get all the features, obviously you will get all the features of GL in Cloud Financials, plus what are the additional features you should leverage. So we will try and be specific to your situation. So we conduct a lot of analysis while we deliver the assessment report. Similar way, the examples around uh, accounts payable, you know, invoice imaging is, you know, one of the important uh, expectations, you know, uh, if you are leveraging accounts payable. So we will get you all, all kind of analysis, you know, for purchasing, you know, for core HR and absence management. So all the product, all the modules you are using on eBusiness Suite, we are going to do analysis at the feature level. So you are really going to get a lot of insight. Plus, you will also start getting a starting glimpse, you know, how are you going to use them in cloud application? What extra or what are the additional features you will get, you know, as part of your of your cloud transformation and also remember you know at this stage we are not going to get into a detailed discovery discussion we are not going to consume a lot of time from yourself and your business this is without asking you any question so i believe it's really really a, a great starting point the assessment uh, report like i have mentioned would also have information about your technical object and customization I know I have covered this, but just wanted to re-emphasize. We are not trying to get a count of your custom forms. You know, that's not useful. We are not going to get a count of your personalization. We will try and extract, you know, what are specifics you have done, uh, you know, in terms of personalization and in terms of other customization. That really gives us a very useful insight to have a further conversation with you on your transformation journey. And obviously it gives you a, a nice quick report so that's assessment just to summarize uh it is suitable for a for a customer if you have done good good number of customization extension on on your ebs it's nice and easy two to four days of exercise you know which we conduct uh, remotely and obviously free of cost all right so that's assessment let's let's talk more interesting and fun stuff now so Evosis Insight, <clears throat> just to just to remind again, Evosis Insight is applicable or suitable for a customer who is looking for a creation of a business case, you know, who wants to know what is written on investment, you know, I'm spending 5 million US dollar, tell me what, what directly and indirectly I'm going to get, you know, let's say after one year of my go live or a couple of years of go live. So it helps you to create a, uh, create a business case. Uh, generally speaking, it is, three to four weeks of program where we come on site, you know, spend about five days with your business, you know, with your finance office, with with your HR team, you know, with your IT team, with your supply chain team as appropriate. We get into a detailed workshop, try and understand, you know, what is what is your strategic objective around your enterprise application, you know, and, and try and try and identify very specific KPIs. And then we put our we put our implementation plan and implementation journey based out of the KPI. Normally we we categorize these KPIs around process improvements or pro process optimization, uh, the system adoption, the information output, audit and compliance. <clears throat> we also have a measurement tool, and I'm going to show you a glimpse uh, to measure whether whether you have got the KPI after go live. And I believe that is very, very important. Creating and defining KPI, probably you may argue that everyone is doing that. You know what you, you are doing. I agree to that. But we have a measurement tool which we deploy in your cloud environment. And after go live, your CFO, your CHRO, your IT team, your CEO desk will be able to see on real time basis whether you are getting success on the KPI, what is the progress, and what are the areas you want to fix. We don't stop there. We also tie some of our payment terms to the realization of this KPI, meaning 
our final payment milestone is not at go live let's say if we mutually agree that we want to review whether you got the benefit of kpi kpi or not after six or nine months of time post go live we will keep some money on the table so we we are really talking about keeping our skin in the game let's let's move further so let me give you an example you know how do we do our insight uh, like I said, it's on-site plus remote exercise. We come on-site uh, and have a detailed workshop. Try and understand, you know, what is your current scenarios? What do you what do you expect? What are your strategic goals? What are your problems? You know, be it you want to improve the self-service capabilities and have an effective utilization of system with your cloud transformation. You want to improve the efficiency of your financial processes. So we try and we try and identify the core objectives or what are your key problem statements and you want to solve as part of your your cloud transformation once that's done then we go in for the details so let's pick up a pick up a improve the finance uh, process efficiency as one of the example and then we create number of kpis we try and be very specific we obviously have a kpi library for finance supply chain hcm so and so forth but we try and be very specific to your situation. So these are number of KPIs, for an example, we have identified, which will help you to improve your financial efficiency with Oracle Cloud application. Let's take an example uh, of reduction in cycle time for invoice creation. So this is a sample case, and, and this is really interesting. So that's the KPI which, which we have identified together, and then, we will create the baseline or the benchmark. For an example, currently it is taking about 14 hours of time for invoice creation. And your target is to reduce the 14 hours to eight hours of time. So that is what we agree. We put this in our statement of work. We also create number of tasks which will have a mutual ownership on you and on EOSIS as well. And then we tie the task in our implementation work plan. We don't we don't do cloud transformation on a traditional way. You know, start project, do CRP, do training, do data migration, create custom extensions, and go live. We don't do that. We tailor our implementation plan considering the achievement of KPI is core, and and that's how we execute our project. I was talking about the measurement tool. So this is just an example of our measurement tool. Uh, we have used Oracle Analytics. You don't need any additional subscription. Once you are live, we will deploy this tool. And this tool covers uh, the the analysis or, or the dashboards around finance, supply chain, and HCM. We have created about 150 dashboards. This dashboards helps you to measure whether you get a success out of your KPI or not. And I believe that is really, really important because from our experience, we have seen, you know, customer have created clear KPI, but they fail to measure. They don't know whether they are doing good, they are doing bad. And if they are doing bad, how can they improve? And this we think is a great, great value addition. We don't charge anything extra to deploy this tool. This is part of our methodology. And this is really key in understanding the benefit realization is understanding, again, what good looks like. So using these KPI measurement tools, uh, and, and these are tools, again, that are developed for how you measure success for your enterprise application. Um, we can customize these uh, these KPIs. We have a pool of other dashboards you can use, as, as uh, Snehela said. But again, it's understanding how you measure success. And most of you on the call have been working with EBS and EBS implementation, as you know, is a lengthy process. And it's been my experience in 23 years of working with Oracle applications. Everybody creates the KPIs they want to attain. And uh, three quarters of the way through, you just want your life back. You just want to get on and you've forgotten about those KPIs. And SAS is very different, it's a lot faster to implement but also with these tools and dashboards, you can measure those KPIs. So it is a, a different mindset, but again, it goes towards that benefit realization. How do you build that business case? And, and this is all part of that insight. 
So I'll, I'll back to you now, Sahel. Thanks, Rick. So let's uh, let's talk about another use case uh, around EOSIS Insights. So the the second KPI, you know, which we have mutually identified for an example is to promote the sales service uh, around around purchasing. And you know, we have obviously defined the benchmarks or the baseline, agreed the mutual ownership task, so and so forth. And we propose, uh, we thought that you know, it is it is important where you utilize digital assistance, you know, as part of promoting the the sales service use, you know, not just for purchasing, but for also HCM. We will recommend and we will implement this as part of our your transformation journey. And, and this is something, you know, which I believe is very, very important. Like I said, innovation is not phase two or phase three for us. Innovation is part of your cloud transformation if you are not getting your analytics from day one if you are not getting new stuff from day one after go live and if you still have to wait for six to 12 months of time it's no fun so while we while we get our evosis insight program done we will also plan all of this as part of your implementation program and implementation journey and i believe that is really really important this helps you to get your benefit realization, not just immediately after go live, but it also helps you to keep getting benefit on your continuous basis. So it's not just about covering risk, it's also about getting the benefit realization immediately and also to ensure that you know you get uh, you get benefit on a continuous basis. There are more examples you know which I and Rick are going to give you but uh, that's about evosis insight just to recap so evosis insight is stage two part of evosis glide program uh, it is useful for customer uh, if you are looking uh, for building the roi case uh, it's about uh, three to four weeks of exercise uh, if you have a smaller foot footprint it can be done in couple of weeks of time also uh, we ideally want to spend about a week on site with you trying to understand your strategic goals trying to understand your problems what problems you want to solve out of cloud transformation we identify the kpi uh, we identify how are we going to achieve the kpi and then we draw our implementation plan accordingly we obviously monitor um, every week every month what is the progress as part of transformation um, you know for achieving those kpi so that's evosis insight uh, uh, and, and 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 let's move on. The third stage is advisory services. So for Evosis, the consulting is very very important. We do not want to stay your technology partner. We do not want to uh, just move you from e-business suite to uh, Oracle Cloud uh, application. But as part of process, you know, we we do number of uh, number of consulting and, and, and strictly around enterprise application. For an example, you know, we have a customer, um, you know, we are talking in Chicago area. Uh, they are an EBS customer and they said that, you know, we want to improve, your, improve our chart of account. We think it's a great opportunity while we are going on cloud application, you know, can you help us to do that? We said, absolutely, you know, we, we have included consulting of chart of account as part of our implementation plan. So before we have kicked off, off, we have started talking about what changes you want to bring in your chart of account. So we design your implementation or your transformation journey in a way you get enough time to 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 improve on on your structure or or on your processes. We will also bring experts. You know we have experts, certified accountants. You know we have industry experts uh, around varieties of industries you know healthcare higher education engineering and construction manufacturing retail hospitality so and so forth the expert would come and sit with you and help you to improve on your structure your business processes we have a very interestingly a customer uh, in hospitality and you know cfo said i am very confident that transformation is going to go well my interest is analytics and reports my interest is output can you define before you start the project what output i'm going to get and then i will help you 
to change my process and i will convince my team that you should change your process even if it is little complicated because output is important for the organization that is going to drive my decision support uh, support uh, uh, system and we did that so we have created number of kpis drivers analytics and we agreed that this is what you are going to get and we have we have we have we have executed the transformation journey keeping the analytics and reports and very specific in our mind so i believe this is also a very important exercise um, you know as part of your transformation this is just an example very simple example uh, on left side in blue you know the structure in e business suite i'm sure you will recognize the business group and legal entity operating unit so and so forth and then we will recommend you know when you go from ebs to cloud you know what changes you should do so you know you have 15 ledgers you know should reduce your ledger to to half for a specific reason you know it will give you more efficiency and you will not compromise on your reporting your compliance so and so forth there are obviously new and better concept in oracle cloud application for an example business unit will will get you all this exposure early enough so that you participate alongside evosis designing your solution part of the transformation and this is just a very simple example all right great so we are done with assessment you know we have also spoken about evosis insight we have briefly touched around the evosis advisory services once all of this is done you know once you are ready to kick off your 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 transformation program we leverage uh, evosis implementation methodology which is very well proven we have used this uh, over 1000 plus customers in in north america and globally as well we obviously uh, this is all obviously been inspired from oracle unified methodology but we have injected number of learnings you know which we had in past uh, i'm not going to go in great details just want to highlight um, a, a a very specific and unique points you know the first and foremost we believe the readiness is very very important uh, you know before even you kick off the project you know we get into a readiness workshop immediately after you sign contract with us you know we do not uh, wait for two or three or four weeks of time we do a, a readiness call immediately we have a readiness checklist we help you to be ready for your transformation and we we really spend enough time it's not just one phone call we try and understand your situation and we try and be very specific to ensure that you know once you start your transformation we do not have a major roadblock and you know we have to keep project on hold or you know we you, you would need extra time uh, in preparing your data or improving improving your chart of accounts and so forth we believe specifically for e business with customer and and probably for all kind of on premise to cloud transformation journey it is very important to work on data uh, collection uh, and data transformation and third party integration early enough so we give enough importance and emphasize for data integration and custom extension as part of it, part of our readiness moving on uh we obviously share you know best practices and that is why uh, you know you want to move on cloud application you know we don't ask you obviously you know what what is that you are looking for we are ebs expert we are cloud expert you know we will we will study your ebs environment in detail uh, not not with an intention to copy what you have done on ebs and just copy on cloud uh, application but to have enough uh, enough background and enough understanding of your situation and then you know we give you best practice uh, workshop so that's that's immediately after uh, kicking off project we bringing lot of industry expertise we also share our experience how other organization in your industry are leveraging cloud application and once that's done then you know we will do a fit cap analysis so it's it's going to be a product enabled implementation we will not ask you what's your requirement rather we would recommend this is what you should do and then we will get your feedback so that's again important moving on and i am just highlighting uh, important points iterative way of implementing cloud application is very very important you can't 
finalize your solution design document go back and build and come after a uh, couple of months and say all right you know this is what you told me and this is what i have done it's not efficient and 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 we we don't encourage to do that we get into a lot of formal and informal workshop to demonstrate that this is what you have you told me in terms of your requirement and this is how i have configured do you have additional feedback to give do you want to correct what you told me and this way you get a lot of exposure on application for us knowledge transfer is not just couple of weeks of uh, exercise you know where you know we do a classroom training we definitely do that but for us knowledge transfer happens from day one so iterative workshop is another key aspect of evosis implementation approach we obviously you know give enough emphasis on system integration testing and training and so on and so forth i'm not highlighting those point but uh, you know these are some of the unique uh, aspect you know which i wanted to highlight as part of uh, evosis implementation methodology uh, just to uh, just to highlight this one more time our knowledge transfer program is not just for key user how to use the application but we give knowledge transfer uh, to the it team or your system admin team how to maintain the application how to modify basic configuration in, in terms of security in terms of approvals so and so forth we also uh, give you a detailed training on creation of new reports modifying existing reports so our knowledge transfer is very very robust and detailed with that let's move on i know we have about 15 16 more minutes so data migration tool this is a proprietary tool which evosis have developed uh, this is not a technical tool it has front end pages also so if you are a business user you can use evosis data migration tool and extract information from your e business suite environment transform so transform transformation could be a functional transformation or a technical transformation so the evosis data migration tool helps you to transform your data and it really saves lot of efforts it also brings a uh, lot of efficiency and then ultimately you can load the data in cloud application so you can you can you can save huge effort in terms of your data transformation and loading from your e business suite to to cloud application again we don't charge extra this is part of evosis cloud program all of all of it which you know we are we are talking today is part of evosis cloud program and this is part of our methodology and this is really important to understand on on the tooling like this is that this tooling is going to do one of two things one it it's going to save you time and effort to bring the data over because one of the i i give on a global basis um seminars and workshops on why ERP implementations fail and and the part of the uh, the strategic move is understanding the data migration understanding the complexities around that because we built these tooling that is going to save you time and in turn save you money and and that's uh, important to understand but also how we de-risk because you've got these migration tools you'll be able to uh, understand what data is coming over what's not coming over um and that will help to uh de-risk the the project as well so if you're thanks rick if you're planning for cleaning your data for an example you want to standardize your job title or position title across different entities different countries this is an opportunity this tool will help you to clean your data also so it's not just about technical transformation but you can actually do a business transformation in terms of data cleaning it's a it's a fantastic way of 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 executing your your long um, long plan of you know cleaning your data and this tool is applicable for all different functions you know finance supply chain and human capital management i know you know has covered some of it it brings automation you know it saves your time and also brings lot of optimization so that's about uh, that's about the the data migration tool 
all right let's talk about support services so you know we have covered uh, assessment insight uh, you know we have also spoken about um, the advisory services and we have covered evosis implementation methodology i'm sure you know uh, you must have observed that you know how evosis glide program helps you to de-risk your transformation it helps you to get your benefit from day one and it also ensure that you know you keep you keep getting your benefit ongoing basis so evos support services is one of the example we don't we do not deliver our post co life support in a in a very routine or a traditional way meaning solving your technical problems you know creating new custom reports fixing your bugs but we bring lot of enhancement and improvement so our focus on the support services is to basically how you can on a daily basis improve your implementation you know be it delivering analytics uh be it implementing digital assistance be it enabling new features be it monitoring what you get quarterly as part of oracle updates and how you can enable new feature so that your employee your manager and your 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 hr finance and supply chain team plus your executive teams continuously get benefits out of oracle cloud application so we have a robust managed services which helps you to cost effectively manage your uh, your implementation you know once you are live and you know these are these are some of the examples you know we have created number of analytics you know in all area so we have a huge huge library we don't take you know months and weeks of time uh, to implement analytics so it's there and we deploy right away in couple of hours of time you'll be able to analyze your data and then you know we can obviously bring improvements you know as we progress uh before i i, I jump in and 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 talk about hyperion to cloud very quickly rick do you want to add anything no this is very good thank you that's great so uh, we thought that uh, you know this is this could be a important subject as well so we have we have a we have a glide program if you are a hyperion customers and if you are using e business suite alongside hyperion or if you are just using hyperion you now we have created a glide program uh, for such customer also we obviously have two options specifically for hyperion or you know enterprise performance management one is lift and shift so for an example you think that your planning and budgeting on hyperion is working perfectly fine you just don't want to move from on premise to cloud you know we have a quick program we can get you up and running from 4 to 6 weeks of time we have also created evosis migration tool uh, a utility which basically gets you from on premise to cloud very quickly very cost efficient program now on a, on on other side you know if you are talking about full transformation you know you think that you know you want to improve your planning and budgeting you want to improve your consolidation so and so forth we can obviously offer a free assessment uh, of your on premise uh, implementation try and understand you know how you have done recommends you know what improvements you can bring as part of your transformation and and put up a put up a, a detailed program so that you get based out of oracle cloud application so just to just to inform you that we have a glide program if you are a hyperion customer as well both lift and shift and full transformation uh, this is just an example uh, the utility which we have created for our hyperion customer all right great so i know you know we have spent a good 35 40 minutes talking about evos's uh, uh, glide program i thought you know it is important to share our learnings you know i have two more slides and then i'll hand it hand it over to rick uh, but uh, you know these are the learnings you know which we had from our 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 our, our, our previous transformation program and i think they are pretty important you know let me share them very quickly uh, you have to be careful you know i have done e business with all my life i know it is very easy to customize i know it is very easy to 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 do extension and people really debate you know whether you should do customization or you should really extend the application i have my my own opinion you know if it helps your business 
if you are sure what you are doing why not you know you you must extend your application and there are ways to extend your uh, cloud application also but you should be very careful careful in terms of your customization estimation when you go from e business suite to cloud it is important uh, to do a volume or load testing you do not have to test cloud application per se but your complex report your complex third party integrations test with full data do not just test you know if your report is working fine load all the data and have a rigorous testing it is really really important we have observed performance issue you know if you have not tested uh, it, it in detail and we have also observed people definitely do system integration testing and user acceptance testing but they forgot to conduct a volume or, or, or load testing and which is really really critical um, obviously you know i have spoken about custom extension should have a robust integration design do not assume your integrations are going to go lift and shift from your ebs to cloud you may have to do number of changes in terms of design in terms of your code so and so forth have a right planning um, you know have a right uh, contract with your third party uh, application and and have a right collaboration between your si and your third party so that you know you don't face um, issues with integration we have observed you know if you are a decent size do full three round of data migration uh, and reconciliation not two three uh, by default if you are not a payroll customer you will get two instance when you subscribe oracle cloud application one production and second non production you can still manage three rounds with two instances but you need to plan it little smartly and you may also have to be open to have third instance for a shorter duration let's say if your implementation plan is for an example 9 months then you might need third instance for 6 months of time you really have to want to get into detail and plan your instance strategy as part of scope of work discussion with your partner it is really really important from our experience that you should have one common solution architect from your si meaning if you are doing financial supply chain and hcm have one person from your si overlooking everything all the functions uh, it really helps uh, part of your key user training part of your end user training have a comparison so this is how you were doing ebs this is how you are going to do transaction in cloud application it it is easy for them to learn uh, obviously you know you need si who understand ebs uh, very very important utilize cloud to its best no point in you know moving your transactional application from ebs to cloud it's no fun you know plan to use mobile plan to use analytics chatbots digital assistants from day one you know have your program plan created so that you get real benefit of cloud application immediately after uh, go live please remember that cloud application comes with proven best practices you should really really analyze evaluate and then only chance to then only plan to change the best practices if if required i know i have few more minutes but this is again pretty important slide and and i'm trying to summarize you know how do you de risk your cloud transformation program do not try to copy e business suite to cloud that's that's not efficient you should really plan transformation do not underestimate timeline it's not lift and shift if someone is telling you you can do lift and shift that's not true uh, we have done number of ebs to cloud transformation it is never lift and shift you should really remember and this is really really important if you have a it or a project management background the implementation approach for oracle cloud application is pretty different than than the way you implement e business we do not try and spend huge amount of your energy in creating documents talking about process flow try and leverage try and see first what is there in cloud application then try and change have a iterative way of implementing cloud start your knowledge transfer from day one plan using all new innovations from day one so and so forth i am sure you understand change management is critical please put in a emphasis have a clear way forward for your customization 
what cust customization you can retire what customization you cannot retire how are you going to manage your extension have this discussion as part of your sales cycle do not wait to kick off your project it is really really important your si understand ebs and you have a very clear plan for uh, custom extension role security very different your role responsibility your menus the concept has changed in cloud application if you have done uh, a complex role security in a business suite please analyze and have right plan in cloud application uh, there are modules like you know learn or learning management you want to compare and understand them them pretty well because there are a lot of new concept and they do not work like uh, e business suite module works so you, you really want to understand if they are fit or you want to start uh, uh, basic as appropriate the it team role as part of cloud transformation is really critical and there are a number of aspect you know data your reports your custom extensions so and so forth so please plan that very well if you are doing coexistence meaning you are keeping portion of your ebs and 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 planning small with cloud application and in integrating cloud application with eps be clear on responsibility if you are going to manage ebs part of the integration be clear with your si if you want your si to manage tell them up front i i have mentioned this you know number of time it is really important that your 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 partner understand uh, ebs have a right phasing strategy collaboration is something you know which is which is really really critical so with that i know you know we have about 4 or 5 minutes uh, uh rick over to you thank you thank you very much so i hope you really got some benefit from today's presentation um and understanding a little bit more about how to go through best practices when looking at a transformation or a move to cloud from ebs and one of the things that we realized is you know through this whole process that there's there's various steps to go through and various stages to consider um and the first step is understanding what you currently have. And that's that first step, that's that assessment tool that we uh, recommend everybody run. Because let's be honest with each other, not everybody is ready to move to cloud. And the first step in understanding if your, your readiness is that assessment tool. And that is something we'll, we'll uh, provide to you for free. So schedule a call with us and we'll have one of our SMEs get on the uh, uh, phone with you, help you run that script and then we'll deliver that to you. Now, if you decide to move forward from there, then we can discuss the Insight program. And the Insight program is, as uh, Snehela said, a depth program, oftentimes two to four weeks to understand and build that business case and build the KPI so you can get the benefit realization. Now, there obviously is a, a, a minimal charge for that, but uh, that will actually be applied uh, forward in the uh, in the event that you decide to move forward with the project and that will be a complete refund of those services and that's oftentimes what you have to do anyway so let's first as a next step uh, schedule a free assessment and we'll figure out again if insight is right step for you because as we said you know you have to plan your cloud journey you have to plan your readiness you have to plan if if it's uh, an viable option for you so Call us, let us know. We'll be in touch with you as well. And also, um, for those of you that will be attending MBX, we will have a booth there. So please look for us there. And uh, now I'll just refer to any questions. Does anybody have any questions that uh, they'd like to raise? Either you can raise your hand or uh, write them down before we break. No? Okay, well, thank you for your attendance. Thank you for uh, joining us today. And you'll be receiving a, a copy of this presentation uh, in an email and a, a follow-up from uh, one of our representatives. Thank you again and uh, uh, have a pleasant day.